Your bus system in the southern tier falls victim to a reduction in state Medicaid funding. The Tioga County bus system has been discontinued because the county says it simply can't afford it. WENY's Asia McKenzie has more. After 20 years of service, the Tioga County Legislature has decided to end its bus system. This all stems from a decision made by the state in October 2013, changing the transportation for non-emergency Medicaid patients from buses to taxis. Tioga County has run a bus transportation uh, system that was pretty much paid by Medicaid funding. And when the county was notified about the service switch, they were told by the state they would still receive the needed help. Well, they said, oh no, it's not going to affect you at all, when in fact it absolutely did. Now, it probably saved money for the large cities, but in rural New York State, it impacted us negatively. Soon after realizing they would have to shell out half a million dollars each year for the bus system, the county looked for affordable ways to keep it running. We changed the bus routes, we tried to make them more efficient, we increased fees, we tried to work with the Department of Health, they didn't budge, they were not cooperative. The county says the state told them if they adjusted their fare rate lower than taxi fees, then they would shift back to the bus service. The county says they did that and saw no shift in ridership. So now the 300 non-Medicaid riders the bus system service per day We'll have to find another way to get around. Asia McKenzie, WENY News. And the Tioga County Legislature says that if it did keep the bus system running on the county's own dime, it would require a 2.26% tax increase. And that's a violation of the state's 2% property tax cap.